Hello, Internet. I've seen people suggesting different units kind of like, you know, showcase, but I'm truly out of every single bit of resources. I don't have enough molos. I don't have enough catalysts. I don't have enough fodders to make another unit six star. So yeah, we're in a pinch, huh? But anyways, today is going to be about a unit that is even a little bit more relevant than the rest, especially these days. It's going to be k -Rod. He is relevant right now because it is his banner. And also he has a new skin, which I am not going to get considering I have only 1.6k sky stones. But anyways, like to k -Rod, someone actually did suggest this. I don't know why. I don't even know how am I gonna use him yet. But these are his stats. It's basically like a counter k -Rod, but with lifestyle effect that cannot counter. Yeah, an incredible description there. But anyways, we're gonna bring him in to Guild War. I have a PhD in dice. <laughs> okay, bro. I bet you're reading that PhD right there. Mediocre cowering, man. Today we're against Int Express. Ha, you think you can int harder than us? Yeah, exactly. Show them we can int harder. You don't even know, Int Express. You are facing the true lords of inting right here. Look at this stronghold. Oh, oh we are dead. Round one, this is the only way we're gonna make Lysil k -Rod anywhere near relevant with the Lysil. Of course, I can just do like a normal cleave or something with, you know, the Sour Flan into a Lysil k -Rod, but that's not life stealing. That's like stealing their life, but you don't actually heal yourself. It's like the path of a carnage killer. Take away their lives, but you don't gain anything yourself. No matter what they do, they don't have sustain on this k -Rod. They don't have sustain on this RB. They don't have sustain on the CC. We have heal on an ML Haste. We have SSB damage sharing into a Lysil k -Rod. and k -Rod's job here is to heal back to full HP every time he does anything. And we will get S3 to nuke off the yeah. RB. We should retain the immortality regardless. One S1 from k -Rod next turn should bring him to full HP, especially since I have Elliot's knife and attack buff. But yeah, it's low-key genius on paper, but when you think about it, you can kind of put any sort of k -Rod here and it'll still work. <laughs> Uh, this is so dumb. All right, round two. This is the fun one. I really like Isteria plus a Ravi. It's like, no matter what happens, Isteria plus a Ravi will be able to burst you down because Isteria has the defense rate. A Ravi has... They have two light units. They should focus down on a Ravi and a Ravi is, you know, because they're always dark. We have counters down on a Ravi. We also have timeless anchor. So yeah, we could get a couple of cleanses here and there. So yeah, it should be a really safe second team and a really cute one. Oh, I love this team. This team is just, oh, so good. Stop being horny. Right, here we go. So they go first as, as expected, right? This, this is still within the realms of my expectations. Damn, I'm, I'm talking with class today. Right, they prog our immortality. Now we whip this out. So anyone that gets defense broken would absolutely die. But except this guy, of course. Gosh. Right, ML Haze takes the turn here. All I gotta do is just heal up. I should heal k -Ron to relatively high HP here. But their k -Ron should still hit our k -Ron. There you go. And our k -Ron will finish off their RB while probably healing to almost full HP. Alright, watch this. I have Elias knife. So I missed Oh come on, k -Ron. Anyways. <laughs> Is k -Ron dying? I think our k -Ron's dead. Well, we'll see. If we land the unbuffable on the enemy k -Ron before he dies, we'll win. I'm not sure. Actually, yeah, yeah, we already won, I think. So, boom, here we go. We did land the thing. No promote because I have immunity. More SSB passive. This should take care of everyone already. <laughs> All right, I still care on doing the work, but you know what? I'll, I won't heal. I can heal, but I won't heal. Just to showcase the ability to probably heal to full HP with care on. I'll do this. Boom, S1. Now with this, I have the Soulburn S1. If the enemy has three surviving units, everyone's defense broken with Elias knife and attack buff with care on, this will literally bring him to full HP. Although it's not like it's hard to bring him down back to one again, but that's not the point here, okay? Watch this. Full HP. Oh my God. <laughs> Never mind, although we did kill the- we already killed the FCC. That's a lot of damage though, jeez. Okay, here, what in the world? I just do this, and then I'll do this. Here, here's the start of cheese. Akadis will never run out of heals. A time goes, you can stun on anyone, but you're not gonna stun a Ravi, of course. Boom, and we hit the counter! Yo, a Ravi's doing work today! <laughs> He's doing yo, they're gonna counter again. I will make love to you. Nope. Okay, never mind. I guess you don't want that, huh? Keep touching the lobby. Actually, now that I think about it, a KD's might die to crowd. Oh, counter attack, let's go. But it's okay, because we have a Robby with the revive. We can always just revive. That with a cheese. You look. <laughs> this kid in the swimsuit is insane and annoying. Oh, counter E, counter attack. This is what I mean by counter. This is what oh, I, was, I was expecting counter attack. This is what I mean by counter attack. It's just if it procs, you feel like you're just god. If it procs, right? Right, can you just. Okay, okay, we got rid of the passive. That's great. Counter? Oh, no counter. Oh! 
Oh, you're dead, a time with. We all spent with Assyria before a Robbie got a turn. And guess what's gonna happen now? Oh, ha, ha, this will hurt, I'm telling you. We got rid of this passive spell from the earlier defense break, so he'll eat both of these debuffs unless he resists. And you'll be convincing me you're building an ERA timer, which I will be allow Which I will be shocked of. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> right now, heal up. We're gonna do S3. And that would mean. I'm screwed. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, take counter. If I defense break crowd right here, I will laugh. Ah, I should reset someone. I'll just defense break you. Watch this. Boom. <gasps> oh, ho, ho, ho. Counter? No counter. Actually, this is not that good, right? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I thought I had silence. Did I cleanse it off a like timeless anchor? Yo, that's hard. Right, this means this will absolutely murder you. Even if this doesn't murder you, well, this will murder you. It doesn't matter. Yeah, there we go. Big damage. Counter. 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 Ah. No, okay, all right. That, that's still a Robbie, although it's not from a counter attack. Okay. There we go, a Robbie. Yo, I think I have like the perfect build now. Like this build is probably perfect for my playstyle with her. In search of someone I can use life to K on against. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> Here we go, round one. Similar to before, but except SSB is now Bazaar. Do you guys know what Bazaar full name is? If you know, comment down below. It looks nothing like what you would expect. His actual full name is something insane. He'll go first. Solburn and Sweetie. Give them the pushback and the above rule. If I get a turn with Kairon, sure, cool. We can just nuke off the shells. We'll get nuked by them, get to the point of immortality, and nuke Arby or Charles instead. Whoever we nuke, we should retain our immortality if we have it, and we gain the attack buff. And at that point, they can do like a lot of AoEs. All we gotta do is to Solburn with k once. And we should wipe off any DPS in terms of Charles or Arby. And at that point, it's going to be just FCC. And she cannot kill k because we have Lifesteal. That's how you utilize Lifesteal. It's mainly just to cut the one unit that's meant to queen you up. And again, you can do the same thing with counter k -Ron. Actually, honestly though, I don't think using counter care will be safer. Lies to Kron is the safest bet. <laughs> but lies to Kron, really? Round two, they're using a Kise. We have a better Kise. How do I know that? Because I don't have Ludwig. Ludwig's kinda in love with Kise or something, and because I don't have Ludwig, Kise has no choice but to fall in love with me. How's that for logic? Well, I'll speak your Kise, new your Kise, all with our Kise. If we are now, we're gonna S1 onto someone or S2 onto the whole team and die to ML Ken. We'll see what happens. Regardless of that, next to move should be Assyria. I, I, I probably won't reset Kise yet. I'll lightly just S3 on someone or uh, I'm not sure yet. You know what? I'll just probably reset. You know what? Let's just go. I don't even know what I'm talking anymore. Gosh. It's like that time when I meant to like say happy birthday teacher, but instead I said happy birthday mom. That was in like grade school, right? And everyone started laughing. I was like, dude, it's just a miss. You know, I just misspoke. Is that that funny? Oh no. Did he? You motherfucker! You crud. You crud. Run. But I've grown. I have ML haste now. He's not dying, is he? He's not dying. Oh no. Are you? Are, are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Oh, thank God he didn't proc it. Alright. That's cool. That's not cool. This goes, and this will bring me to immortality, which I really don't want to happen, but I guess I have no choice. I really want to just nuke off the Charles, but if I don't kill the Charles, I'll die. And I don't have a tap up, so I think I won't be killing the Charles. I'll just do this. We'll get the ML haste barrier. Getting a bit of a heal here. 15k damage, that's insane. And we'll be able to just sober an S1 next turn. This goes. This won't hurt anyone because you don't have the gap. There we go. And Charles goes here. We still have the barrier to protect ourselves. Should be relatively fine. And now, I'll just debuff you. Trust me, I'll debuff you. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. No! <laughs> it's okay! <laughs> <laughs> this is not close at all. I got this. You know what? I actually got this. Watch this. I'll hit the Charles. If you don't counter, we're fine. I swear to God, Charles. Not today. All right, there we go. This will go here. It will provoke. It doesn't matter because right here, Soul Burn with attack buff. Although we do have full HP, which is kind of counterintuitive because Kron, as he has less HP, does more damage. In the case I wipe up Arby and not Charles somehow, then ML Haze dies. But it will be a K-Run solo. It's absolutely going to be. But we'll just see. There's a chance we just don't crit on RB and we just don't kill. If we don't kill the RB, we're about to get cut. Why did she make the basket? Well, who the crud- ah! What? Did I just kill? Ah! Ah, no! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Why are you so tempting? You crud! I'm mad. I'm so mad. What's this video now? Anyways, show them why you're the better Kisei. 
Because I don't have Ludwig. There we go. I could do two things here. I could just do S1 on someone, anyone. Or I could do S2 onto Kisei, S3 onto DN for Kisei to nuke off the DN. But this DN might be Omega ER at the end though. I think I'm going to have to just S1. This is good as well because I'll get to see how good this DN is. If she's like 20k HP, then I would know. She probably doesn't have a lot of ER. But this would do good damage anyway. So boom. Oh, all right, that works. <laughs> all right, so 16.7k DN, so it's probably high ER. I think I'll have to hold off a bit. This is anti-crit on MLK no, I've never seen this in my life, jeez. The enemy DN should die soon, which isn't even good, because I'll be forced to hit MLK. It's like one thing to lose the game. It's like a whole other level of humiliation to lose the MLK counter. All right, this goes. Is it a max crit chance one? Okay, it's not. Oh my. What? He says dead! Okay, there's one there's one hope here. There's one hope here. I'll do S1 here. RNL into S3. That's the only thing that could get us out of this. Come on, Kisei. Go. I do a love with my account. You should be insane because you can only fall in love with me. RNL! Ah! If this is ERML, can I swear to god? Kisei has to die. I can't save her. Damn it, Kisei, do you have Dream Blade on? I don't think so. Yeah. Imagine using Dream Blade on Kisei. Oh, it's not an ER one. Okay. No. How dare you? Now suffer the wrath of the lolly. Prepare to get like 45k damage. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot. Oh! <laughs> 58k. And guess what? I reset again. How dare you eat the Excalibur. But except Saber is actually just a child. You crit as well though. <laughs> Yeah, 34k. All right, it's a draw. Why did I draw this? Oh, it's because... <laughs> yeah, okay. Now the reality sinks in that Kron died. What do I even do now? Oh, you know what? More Talix. No. Here we go, since we are trying to end. Like, the game plan that we have for our game is literally show them... Show the enemy that we can end harder. We're going to do exactly that. I would usually just go SSB, a type buffer, and ML haze against this team. It's such an easy win. But why do that when I can pick someone like Simjalica? You're so cute. Serious, we go. The idea is to just... S3 straight to immunity, S2 stun on the K-Rod. And we have Sinjalika the, for the buff and the prevention of revivals. And with ML Lucar, you have to permanently get rid of RP, so... Once the Kara gets stunned and unbuffable, we kill him with anyone, and then yeah, it should be just well left. Round two. They'll take the first turn, but I believe we should still be able to just get a turn with Preseria. And if we're lucky, we should be able to get another turn with Elfelt into RB. All we have to do is to make sure we land all the debuffs with Preseria, and we instantly win. No matter what they do from that point on, doesn't matter. So yeah, Preseria. Time lost 97. Did you reroll 97 times? That is a Kron with no immunity. In that case, I'll just do this. I swear if you somehow resist this, it's not- <gasps> You did?! <laughs> what? I didn't actually intend this to happen this way, but we have Stealth on the Luka. So even if the Kron survives and gets revived or whatever, he'll hit Sinjalika, which doesn't matter. ER Kron? Is this a day before ER Kron? Let's just assume it's ER Kron. That's why he doesn't have immunity set, right? ER, he'll just resist it. Why, why immunity? Right, moment of truth here. We'll do S3. Now we have invincibility. So it's guaranteed that the Kron will only hit Sinjalika with the S3. Right here, Ruel should heal him up. And there we go. And here you should hit Sinjalika, which you need two more turns in order, to, in order to do anything to her. So we should be fine. You didn't even get her to one HP. Okay, all right, I'm not complaining. Right, Sobern here. We're gonna try and burst down the Ruel. He has idols too? What? What? This? All right, there we go. This should kill off the Ruel. And we should heal a bit there. There we go. We have Stealth on Lilica, so that's not killing us. And now we go back to Stealth. And Cerise should have the S3-S2 combo up again. And we have the Sobern on S2 with Cerise. So there's no way you're gonna survive this one, ER Kron. ER Kron? More like, go into ICU Kron. ICU is like an emergency room in hospitals, right? I, am I not wrong? Am I wrong? I don't know. Can someone fact check that for me? <laughs> he got bumped by 10 dollar attack. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kron. Rest in pieces. Oh. Alright. So speed series. You know, why am I surprised it's a speed series? Alright, Lance on the debuffs. Now I think Elfelt and RB will both take a turn before them. And if that happens, we should be absolutely fine. But the worst case scenario is Landy takes a turn. If FCC takes a turn before us, it's absolutely fine anyway. But here we go. Boom. Alright, we land everything. Wow! Okay, Braceria. Someone's trying to prove me wrong. <laughs> no, no, no. Some, some type of people just can't get complimented. The moment I compliment Braceria is the moment she just somehow makes everything worse. Now it doesn't matter what you do. You can you can take the turn. It doesn't matter. Die! Ha <laughs> ha! 
How is this Cerise not dead? Don't touch my goddamn bunny girl. Ow, 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 ow! <gasps> oh, oh wow! Right, so defense break here. Alright, never mind. Okay, that works. <laughs> gap! Gap! Oh, no, gap! Oh, doesn't matter. Poker! Ooh, got him! Did she just say, I'll turn to ash eventually? <laughs> I'll turn to ash eventually? For serious? <laughs> oh my god, that's actually funny. Dude, jeez, this war is really close, huh? They are like, what, doubling our points? How's that, Int Express? Can't end harder than us, huh? Right, so that was... <laughs> I still care on for whatever the reason you might need the stats for. I'm not gonna stop you if you want. Right now, it's the drop rate up for k -Ron, So if you want k -Ron, right ne right then was a... Literal meme build that someone suggested in one of the comment sections before. That was nice to care which you never want to do. You can either do speed care on or camera care I'm sure there's a lot of um, examples on YouTube you can find. He is absolutely worth it, but I would not pull for him now. It's not like you absolutely need him. He's really good against cleave teams in RTA, which, you know, someone like Politis or Celine would do the same. Regardless of that, it's a, he is a staple unit to have for most, you know, veteran players. We rarely use him, but when we use him, it's against cleave teams and he works wondrously. But yeah, if you're a new player, I suggest you don't get Kaeron now. You don't have to use him for anything, really. Not when a three-star fire character can just bring you to legend, you know what I mean? Yeah, especially with a collab coming and probably new limited units coming in Summer Syria. Probably, it's just speculation, Not, nothing's sure yet. So yeah, it's best if you save your um, bookmarks and just watch me using Kaeron instead and waste my resources in your steed. Anyways, that's what today. Leave a like and enjoy, subscribe to my channel, have yourselves a wonderful day. These suggestions of what types of weird ideas you have, I'll try and make them all happen. I'll try my best, but my resources are limited. But yeah, take care.